Hey there, and welcome to the Velo Community Center. In this video, we'll cover how to edit and manage your Shopify SKUs and barcodes within Vela, both in bulk and individually. The way they work is essentially identical. However, we'll demonstrate them each separately so that you can see both of them in action. In the bulk edit section under inventory, you'll find these options nested on top of one another. We'll also see all of the listings that we've selected with their existing information and in cases where we have listings with variations, we'll see those variations too, also with their individual information for editing. At the top, in our familiar dropdown, we'll see our tools, add before, add after, find and replace, delete, and change to. If I wanted to add something before, I simply need to click add before and enter the relevant information. In this case, let's add skew before. If I want to exclude a particular listing, all I need to do is deselect it before applying, and we'll see that that particular listing and its variants are excluded. So let's apply this change. If I want to add something after, that's also easy. All I need to do is add it, apply, and just like before, we'll see those changes made. Now, if we want to get a bit more clever, we can use the find and replace feature where in this case, we're going to update this 2022 number in our SKU to update the current year. So we'll find 2022, we'll update this to 2023, we'll apply these changes, and we'll see that our SKUs are now current. If we want to remove a specific piece from our SKUs, we can use the delete function and identify the specific thread that we want to eliminate. We'll see that Vela highlights it in red so we know our changes are accurate. Lastly, if we wanted to update our SKUs to something entirely different, we just need to use change to, and we'll see that that updates everything and starts us from the beginning. So let's apply those changes. Next, let's walk through how we do this with barcode. It works identically with all the same features and tools. In this case, we don't have barcodes, so let's just add something random to all of our listings and apply it. Now we can see that these are updated. With these green dots in our menu, we can see they're saved in Vela and ready for us to sync. By clicking sync, we'll kickstart the process to have all of these changes pushed to our Shopify shop. We're just in, in a matter of just a few moments, all of these changes will be live for my Shopify shop to work. So that's all you got to do to manage your SKUs and barcodes for Shopify within Bella. Thanks for joining us.